The question of whether this is a paradigm shift or an evolution of IT, I will leave to the futurists and historians. I would argue and tell you that the market is voting with their checkbooks uh, and that more and more money is being allocated to uh, exploring and implementing cloud services to enable our customers' businesses. What would I do if I were uh, a key IT decision maker and, and, and frankly a, uh, uh, an, a senior executive uh, of any stripe uh, in a large enterprise? First of all, believe it. Uh, it's going to happen. It's going to continue to evolve. Uh, we can uh, wring our hands and fret about data security and uh, privacy, we can fret about performance, we can fret about limits of liability and, and all those kinds of things. That will get fixed. And that will get fixed because I believe that there is an inexorable move towards um, pr providing IT in this kind of model um, that the market will solve for. You should be preparing yourself as that set of services that are publicly available grow. Uh, and you should look at it in the context of a broader IT strategy that says, how am I going to continue to better enable the business with IT while managing cost? So I would urge you to take it seriously because I think it's real. And, and I would urge you to start thinking about the possibilities as opposed to looking at the limitations. Think about how uh, you can connect with public cloud providers an enterprise and suddenly distribute your services instantly on a global basis. Not through a private network, not through your physical bricks and mortar, but through a digital interaction that allows you to deploy services very rapidly because of the fact that you can build them out on a platform, you can, trans you can transport them from platform to platform, you can transport them from geography to geography. And suddenly you can distribute products and services and interact with customers in ways that you hadn't thought of before in, in the old world where you sort of cobbled these things together, you know, in a uh, in craftsman style as opposed to focusing on deploying uh, an end function because the rest of the technology is really enabled and available in the cloud and is very easy to assemble and distribute. You know, just like it will be, an, I think, an evolution uh, in the industry and for our uh, clients. It will be an evolution for us as well. Uh, I think we'll become more of a content and service provider in our own right in those places that best leverage our core competencies and particularly as it relates to, to you know, our ability to provide industry insight. Avanade specializes in helping companies understand how to best deploy uh, Microsoft technologies in support of their business mission. Uh, and we use Avanade, Accenture uses Avanade, really as our uh, pool of deep expertise and knowledge in being able to uh, drive change in companies' businesses through the use of Microsoft technologies. So there's a lot of stuff going on, uh, a lot of new skills, different business models, different ways to think about how you sell and deliver um, the services, and we're you know, trying to take a, a very holistic view of what it all means and, and how we execute within Accenture. I think you have to a certain extent to think like a child because if you look at the way consumers access and use technology today, that is becoming their expectation for the way the companies they're going to be loyal to will provide this stuff. And I don't want to overstate it, but just go home and look at your kids, right? They're the people who are going to be running the companies that, that, that we service today and that you work for today, and their expectations are going to be completely different. So, so think about that. Think of what it, what, about what it means to your workforce.